Hi everybody, you want to show cyclical unemployment, how do you do it? Well, you can use the classical model or you can use the Keynesian model. All you're looking to show is a shift to the left of aggregate demand. Simple as that. Let's look at the classical model first. Price level on the y-axis, real GDP on the x-axis. Show aggregate demand and short run aggregate supply as such. Stick on the LRAS. That's your full employment level of output, and currently the economy is a Y1 and a P1. Now, if you wanted to, you could stop there. What you've just shown here is a deflationary gap with aggregate demand uh, or the current level of growth less than the full employment level of growth. Hence, there must be some cyclical unemployment. You could just stop here if you wanted to, but if you wanted to go one stage further, you could say, look, if aggregate demand shifts even further to the left, then we end up with a lower level of output with low inflation. But more importantly, that lower level of output implies that there is going to be more unemployment caused by a shift to the left of aggregate demand. Potentially now the economy is in a deep recession and the end result is cyclical unemployment. So that will do the job there. In the Keynesian model, it's the same idea. Okay, so price level on the y-axis, real GDP on the x-axis, show your Keynesian LRAS like that. Okay, so start with aggregate demand over here somewhere. Y1 in relation to YFE. Again, if you really wanted to, you could stop there, because once again you've shown your deflationary gap where there must be some cyclical unemployment. But if you wanted to just go one step further, I would shift aggregate demand to the left and show that as a result, there's been a fall in actual growth from Y1 to Y2, and a fall in the price level from P1 to P2. But most importantly is that fall in output, which in the same way as it did above, implies that there is going to be more cyclical unemployment as the economy enters a recession. So that's how you can do it, either using the classical model or the Keynesian model. Some of you might have learned this in terms of the labor market, and going into the labor market and showing it that way. This is much easier. So I would use this, one of these two diagrams is fine. Thanks for watching this guys, see you in the next video.